do I have something exciting for you guys today? You know I love Korean skincare and we just found a new Korean skincare brand that sent me their whole line so we're going to try today on this channel. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Eddie, as known as Mocha Skin on Instagram, YouTube, and TikTok, and many other platforms. And I cover sunscreen, Korean skincare, regular skincare, all the skincare. So for today's video, we're gonna be covering a new brand, and they are called MGB Skin. And this is a little pamphlet they sent me. They did not send this water, but I'm gonna drink it. Explaining all their products, and basically, they're all focused on K-beauty and the K-beauty extracts we love, like mugwort, and we have green tea, but we also have ceramides in here, and this is all skin barrier friendly, so we're gonna apply them all today. So, without further ado, let's go. I'm gonna start off with their toner. They have the MGP Skin Mugwort Pure Toner. So, first impressions, guys. We're all trying them on this channel together. I'm so excited. I just, I couldn't wait to do this video. Wow, look at it. It's nice and green and this pink top. It's very cute. I like cute. Like, and, and, and effective. Like, these ingredients are amazing. So, I'm going to read off what the ingredient list says. But this is not just cute. It's cute and it's got something going for it. They sent a whole thing here explaining and breaking down each product. So it has mugwort and green tea extract, so several of them, so I'm super excited for that. It's a, got an herbal complex of 30 different extracts to care for our skin in every single angle. It also has witch hazel extract to soothe the skin and remove oil and dirt, and green tea to cleanse the skin, and mugwort to calm down redness, witch hazel to kind of like help with excess oil, a calming herb complex. So we're gonna see if it smells like anything. I don't think it does. First of all, I already cleansed my face, and um, I used hypochlorous acid, and I put on my uh, first care serum from what is it called? It's that brand. Anyways, I use that. So I haven't even used toner yet. I just use hypochlorous acid and just my first care serum. So I have not used it as you can tell. I'm gonna do this. Oh guys, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Okay. Are you ready? Let's do this. Ooh. Mmm. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna make noises. I only make when I'm by myself. So, you know what? It doesn't necessarily have a fragrance, but I can smell the subtle herbal scent, like, of what it's talking about. But it really has 30 herbal scents, or herbal complex. Some of it is pulling through, like through the bugwort and green tea and centella. Mm. And just so you know, I am going to put the whole ingredient list in the description box so you guys can check it out. But so far this entered the skin i don't know if you can tell if it up my glow or anything but i have to say it leaves a nice hydrated finish not too tacky it's ph balancing it smells a little bit like baby powder but like only because i have a really good nose but you know what let's um let's layer it let's put more press it in let's see what happens Mmm. but it's nice and watery as you saw and it is rather soothing, and my skin is having no irritation from it, no peeling. So it's just entering really nicely into the skin. Mmm. Okay, so far I like that. Remember, this is all first impression, so we're going to see how it works for the skin over time. But I have to say, that was pretty nice. I don't think it reminds me of anything. It just reminds me of a nice, liquidy, soothing essence. My skin feels kind of quenched, but not heavy. It's nice. Okay, so I found the ingredient list on my phone for the Mugwort Pure Toner. First of all, this retails for $25. That's pretty affordable for 150 milliliters. This is really good size. So it has um, portulaca extract. It has licorice root extract. It's got oat kernel to really calm down the skin. Honey extract, which I love. It's got that green tea extract. It's mango, cucumber, fig. It even has rice extract. So that's really gonna help with evening out the skin tone and brightening up the skin. I can already tell my skin has that brightening glow to it. It has ginkgo biloba. It also has ginseng root extract and tomato extract and soybean extract. Like those are really good ingredients, guys. It's amazing. So 25 bucks for this kind of extracts in here, 
So far, I recommend it, but we'll see. Stay tuned. Okay, so we applied that. So they all, they sent an ampule and their sheet masks. They sent their Sika barrier ampule and their Sika barrier sheet mask or ceramide one, ceramide skin barrier mask. So I forget what goes first, serum or sheet mask. I'm gonna go with sheet mask. So let's apply the sheet mask. Okay, here it is, the MGB sheet mask, the ceramide skin barrier mask. Helps soften, restore, and protect your face with a unique ceramide and potent complex. <laughs> I actually put this in the refrigerator so I could actually have like a nice experience with it. Ooh, it's nice and wet. It feels um, like a wet sheet mask. It doesn't feel like an emulsion or anything, which is common with ceramide masks and stuff. Okay. Okay. <gasps> I've never looked at my monitor to put a sheet mask on. Ooh. Guys, that feels so cooling. <gasps> Ooh. Okay. It smells a little um baby. -y. I don't know. That's so far it's a common scent. It must be the herbal complex that these products have. Okay, press it in the middle. Okay, you know what guys? This actually is not a bad fitting sheet mask. Not bad at all. I thought it was going to be a little lackluster, but this is actually rather impressive. Alexa, set timer for 20 minutes. 20 minutes, starting now. Thanks, girl. Okay, first of all, this Ceramide Skin Barrier Mask for five of them costs $14, which is really affordable, guys, for five sheet masks, that ain't bad. Hyaluronic acid is one of the first ingredients, and then it has macadamia seed oil, but it doesn't feel oily, so I like macadamia seed oil. It has pretty good, um, like a fatty acid um, complex. It has Ceramide NP. I really need that today. I woke up and I had like a little bit of dry patches here, so I'm, I'm glad I'm getting some love in today. Squalane, we love squalane. Very simple ingredient list. Ceramide NP, we love ceramide NP. Strengthens irritation prone skin with purslane, lavender, and chamomile extract. So I'll be back after this has spent 20 minutes on my face. <sighs> it's been over 20 minutes, let's do the big reveal. Well, I will say it didn't dry all the way down even though I was done with it over 20 minutes Like it didn't get like all like crispy. It's still wet. I still have enough to go around my neck And my arms, but it's not too moist, but it's just just enough, you know, usually there's more left in the sheet mask So yeah, look at that. I'm getting still a lot of that and it's this um, it's not even milky. It's like very serum-y I'm just gonna press that in but look at that glow it gave me wow look at that jiggle jiggle i love that i love when my skin jiggles that means it's hydrated and it's a sheet mask i'm definitely going to use again but we'll see how my skin looks at the end of this but so far feels nice and soothe i don't feel tacky it just feels nicely like hydrated so that's good for that. But yeah, that sheet mask was a pass. First impressions, I love it. And look at this glow. Whoo, baby. All right. So here we have the Sika Barrier Ampule for MGB Skin. So it's in a beautiful ombre packaging, which I die for. I like, I love ombre packaging. I think it's so luxe. And it comes in this nice dropper bottle here. And it seems very milky. So apparently this has, so while we apply it, I'm gonna tell you the ingredients. I already looked at it on my phone. So this apparently has all three types of ceramides. Okay, I got very little there. It has a um, centella complex. And it has green tea extracts in here, as well as tea tree oil to help combat blemishes or any um, thing going on in the skin. So. I did three pumps, and that was adequate for my face. I do smell the tea tree oil, and it does feel very nourishing. So this is supposed to lower redness, take care of your skin barrier. Like, just look at that texture here. It's very milky. Mm. Even though this um, 
brand is pretty affordable. I think this one is their most expensive one. I think it retails at $26 for the ampule. But so, I mean, $26 for a really nice um, barrier supporting um, serum is like, you would find that for like $40. And it's not even tacky. It's not like they used cheap ingredients. Like this feels like it's just sinking into the skin. It is beautiful. No tackiness whatsoever. There's usually um, barrier supporting uh, products usually have like that tackiness to it because they just over, like they kind of, it. you're sacrificing like how something performs for the skin barrier like, you know, an exfoliating acid or just like a single extract essence like mugwort or green tea. So when it has a lot of ingredients that are good for your barrier, they tend to be tacky. But this one, guys, not talk tacky at all. It just sunk in. I am in love with this ampule. So while looking at this ingredient list, it also has hyaluronic acid and it also has polyglutamic. So that might explain why it feels so nice on the skin because it's just wrapping everything in. It also has lime oil and orange oil, I will say. So, oh, and macadamia seed oil. So it does have two fragrant components, which gave it kind of that scent, but the only scent that kind of went into it was the tea tree. But I will say, because I am a little sensitive in this area today, I didn't feel any irritation. So just take that in mind. There is fragrant components in it and uh, tea tree oil as well as macadamia seed oil, but it doesn't feel tacky. It smells lovely from the tea tree. It just feels like a really nice serum. So I really like that serum. I like it. I can't wait to continue to use this. This is what I love about K-Beauty. They make effective serums that are just so nice to your skin barrier and give you this like ethereal glow. I love it. We're gonna wrap everything in with the Sika Barrier Cream. Here it is from MGB Skin. Here is the jar packaging. I love this jar packaging. Gives me a Vino Oat Moisturizer vibes, but with like see-through. And it looks, and I love this color. And it looks like you can refill this pod. Ooh, I love it. This looks even nicer in real life. Ooh, it's like this nice cream. So this is a Sika Barrier Cream. So it's supposed to complement their uh, serum. So this is really cool, guys. I'm reading the paper here. This is an intensive barrier cream that provides active anti-aging care and for sensitive skin prone to irritation. It contains 81% Sika instead of water and combines eight peptides among other moisturizing ingredients. So it's really Sika like heavy, but also really peptide heavy. So it really complements the serum. So you got ceramides and peptides in a routine. On top of that, it also has ceramide NP and EGF. And if you don't know what EGF is, it's a peptide composed of up to 53 amino acids that promotes resistance, skin barrier turnover, and elasticity to the skin. So it's supposed to provide kind of like skin cell regeneration. So you're going to get some of the cream that was on the cap. Ooh, so far, this feels like a gel cream. Mmm. Really nice. Feel like this is one of those creams where you don't need much. It has that signature herbally smell, but it smells even sweeter than the other ones, which I'm totally fine with because K-Beauty is totally not using the fragrance to cover anything up. But look at how that sunk in and gave my skin that plumpness immediately. Mm-hmm. I love this. Wow. And no tackiness. <laughs> that is amazing. This brand doesn't feel like it's going to break me out, like at all. And I'm doing a really disservice to myself because I'm trying everything all at once, but I run the risk of breaking out. But so far, I don't feel like I am. So far, this feels really nice. Look at that. I'm getting this Korean glass skin. I love it. So for sure, a little goes a long way with this Sika Barrier Cream. And I can see myself using this during the summer and the winter because it is a gel cream. It's like on the heavier side, but also pretty lightweight where if you use less, you can probably get away with it. And you can use more if you need more barrier repair. But so far, this has been lovely. Oh my god, guys, look. It matches! They're so cute. Look at them, cousins. So the Sika Barrier Cream actually runs for $45. So it's the most expensive one in the brand. 
and I can see why because it's really nice and it has that peptide complex along with ceramide NP and a large percentage of Sika. So it's doing a lot of work to repair your skin and give you that dewy look. I mean, look at this dew right now. Just, wow. Look at this, look at this dewy skin. I love it. Okay, now we're getting to the most exciting part of this brand and it is their Glow Sun Cushion. I'm so excited. And I've been looking for a sun cushion and this just looks amazing. And the fact that it's gonna, gonna have Korean filters but also gonna give me probably a dewy finish. <gasps> Look at her. Look at her high ring light. <laughs> wow. And it has this cotton puff it comes with right here looks really nice. Love it. I love when brands have these because it lets me know that it's sanitary. Ooh. Okay. Has a subtle scent to it. Nothing too crazy. But um, we're going to apply it and see if there's any sort of white cast. I don't think there would be. But let's try it out. Your reminder that every one of these compacts is always going to come with a little thing here. Where is it? Oh my god, this little thing. Cause I was like, why do I look so crusty? <laughs> there we go, see, that's better. Also, let's talk about this packaging. Look at that, I don't even wanna take it out. Cloudy days, beautiful packaging. All right, so let's read the sun cushion before we actually apply this baby. It's a perfect as a foundation base or for reapplying throughout the days. It has a cool, fresh, water rich, I like how that sound, UV cushion designed to be gentle on the skin. SPF 50 plus, PA 4 pluses. Um, it has moisturizing properties and is ideal for use in hot weather. And it is hot as as stuff here in LA. <laughs> but it has a rich moisturizing layer with seven types of hyaluronic acid and ceramides to bring freshness and hydration to the skin every time you apply it. It's like a sunscreen and a serum. <gasps> I love hearing that because to me, what I love about sunscreen, that especially like Asian sunscreens is that they are not just sunscreens, they're soothers, they're skin barrier supporters, they sometimes even have skin tone. It's like another skincare ingredient. It's not just sunblock as we know it. Um, it also contains a powder that absorbs excess sebum, so that's good to know. Water rich texture makes reapplication cool and pleasant and helps prevent makeup from fading with perspiration. It has ceramide NP, glycerol glucoside, and sodium hyaluronic acid. It also has a moist seven complex, which is the seven types of hyaluronic acid. It also has green tea extract, and it has another extract in there. And that's all the info I know. Okay, so this can go wrong or right. It does have zinc oxide and titanium dioxide in it, so it might leave a white cast. We'll see here. Let's press in there. See, I love these because they're so good for reapplying. Ooh. <laughs> so let's do half of the face and see what happens. Okay, okay, so it's spreading out nicely. I'm looking also here in the mirror. It smells nice. And who knows, maybe it has a tone up effect, we'll see. Put over the eye. What I love about these pads is that you can also go over your eye. And that's nice. So, we'll do one side here. Okay, so far it's not showing too much promise. Oh no. Let's keep pressing it in and then we'll check back in like two minutes to see the difference between both sides. But so far it's keeping my glow and it's not too tacky and it smells kind of like lavender and chamomile. That's really nice. But there is there is an obvious difference between this side and this side. This side says Happy Halloween. This side says I'm Latino. <laughs> Dudes. Okay, let's give it five minutes. I'll be back in five minutes so we can like see. This was going so well so far. Obviously, white cast. <laughs> This glow cushion, oh, I thought it was gonna be chemical UV filters, not mineral. This sucks, but 
Let's do the rest of the face, see what happens. Look in here in the mirror. I mean, definitely, definite white cast, okay? I'll give you that. Like, sometimes the camera will be, like, different compared to, like, in real life. Like, zinc oxide will be picked up more on camera than in real life. But I will say the glow is still going. My skin texture looks pretty nice in here. It's not attaching to dry spots. And it's not, like healing or like acting weird like it's really nice on the skin like if i do this there's no pilling so let's just finish it up and if it looks too outrageous what we're gonna do is we're just gonna add a tinted something on top of it and um that'll mitigate the white cast and then i can test out on my own you can follow me on my instagram to see if this leaves a white cast if applied on top of um, makeup, like a skin tint or a tinted moisturizer like I'm gonna use. I am starting to blend in with the background. <laughs> All right, well, that could have gone a lot of different ways. Um, I fixed the white cast, obviously. I just went in and applied the Tower 28 Sunny Days SPF 30 Tinted Sunscreen Slash Foundation to bring the color back to my skin. <laughs> I should have known better. I thought it was going to be Korean UV filters like Tinosaur Bass, Tinosaur Bam, all those things, but then I looked and it's zinc oxide and titanium dioxide. Obviously, if you have a skin tone that's lighter, it'll probably give you a nice tone-up effect, but for myself, who is not white, <laughs> medium slash tan, it's gonna be horrible. <laughs> it was horrible. I went into the room and my partner said, oh my god, and I went, I know. So, at least I look better now. I don't know, maybe I could put, put even more of the tinted sunscreen on because I feel like I still look a little bright but all in all despite that moving on it could I know out of the five products not all of them could have been winners right but honestly like I just wish more brands would come out with sunscreen cushions that weren't zinc and titanium dioxide base where they give you a white cast like I really wish they would use those amazing Korean UV filters in these sun cushions because that would be absolutely amazing unfortunately i'm still on the search for a sun cushion if you know of any sun cushions that are good on their own or on top of any kind of tinted sunscreen or something leave them down in the caption below but fortunately this was a no for me but if you're a lighter skin tone the formula did perform well like it was hydrating and glowy it didn't pill it didn't do anything funky like it was nice it had a nice scent it really um felt soothing on the skin so there's that now i might try this on top of this um tinted sunscreen throughout the day we will see but this is the skin now after using the whole line and i have to say i'm glowing I am so glowy right now. When I smile, my cheeks <laughs> are so dewy. Uh, my nose, everything is dewy. I feel hydrated and everything, but I don't feel like it's too much. I don't feel greasy. I feel hydrated. I feel like I can go out now and just be me and like, I'll have this flawless, glowy complexion. Like, I'm so excited about that. But all in all, I hope you guys enjoyed that first impressions. I loved every single product I used, from the toner that had mugwort in it, to the sheet mask with ceramides. It all felt lovely and exactly what I love about K-Beauty. And that's just this nourishing formulas that not only are nourishing, but are also acne fighting. They're also pore controlling. They're also skin tone evening. They do all those things. And this brand, MGB Skin, embodies that. So I love them. Keep your eyes out for them. Everything is in the description box below. Um, yeah, let me know if you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if you enjoyed any of the products. If you're going to pick up any of the ones I talked about. If I had to pick one for you to use, it's so hard. I would say it's a tie between one of the moisturizers or the ampules and the toner. Like, if you had to pick two, I'd say two. The toner, for sure. So, I guess there's your answer. The toner. And if you were going to pick something else, I would say the ampule or the moisturizer. But I loved all of it. I can't wait to continue to use all of them. The sun cushion was another story. But 
<laughs> all in all, I loved it. If it wasn't for the white cast, I would have loved the sunscreen because it left a beautiful finish on the skin. But, you know, we're gonna continue testing it out. All right, guys. Thank you for joining me. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Leave a comment down below, like this video, and remember to hit that subscribe button. All right, guys, thanks for joining me. Until the next one, stay dewy.